Be the my God, yeah, na, na. my God, and yeah, me when I call, let not my sleep reef footsteps light up and hold me lest I fall the world of flesh and Satan well the heart Did on to and out what are strong. Do thou, O Lord, keep what written and save my soul. I'm wrong, still at me, yeah. I watch and pray and feel that I am thrill that if that death across my way. Yet he may not prevail. Amen. Praise the Lord. Happy to be here. Spirit divine. Attend all prayer. And make this house. I know he said with all thy gracious power, O come, sweet spirit, come, come as a light. To us reveal all emptiness and woe, and lead us in this part of life where all the righteous do. Come as the fire and purge all that sacrifice, let all the whole son of rain be to all redeemers. Come as a Jew. And sweetly blessed is consecrated one. May rejoice to thy fruity light. In come as the dove and spread thy wing, thou wings of peace, full of a 
morning i want to give god some praise i want to give him thanks i want to glorify his name for his name is worthy to be praised his name is worthy to be held in council i want to thank him this morning for waking us up this morning and we are in our song mind we're ready to serve we're ready to work we're ready to do what we have to do for god is good and his mercy is endured forever i want every morning i get up family in christ i always check to make sure that i in one piece and I want to thank God for his courage and his understanding, for his faith. I want to thank him for the companion that he has given unto us. I want to thank him this morning for guiding us and keeping us safe. You know, brethren, things are happening left, right, and center. Because this is what the, this is the word of God speaking. He said, I am the I am. I'm the beginning and the end. No man coming to the Father but by me. The Lord show, the Lord showing his hand. He's showing that he's God all by himself and he ain't no help from none of us. All we need to do is to wait on the Lord. I keep glorifying God. brethren. Those of us who God gave his work, I want to tell you to do God's work and do it in spirit and in truth. Stop acting like you don't know what God gives you to do. You want to do everything else, but you don't want to do what the Lord gives you to do. This is why we are paying a price. Because man, man not realizing that they, they're acting as if they know more than God. God tell us to stand up here. You want to say, oh, the sun coming here. And burning me here. I'm going to move from there. God didn't tell you that. Stay and take the burning of the sun. You don't know if God gave you a turn. You don't know what he's trying to do. You don't know if you have a sickness. And you need the, the sun to get your vitamins. Strength. He tell you stand. He ain't tell you walk. He ain't tell you run. He says stand. I am the Alpha and Omega, I'm the beginning and the end. I am the first and the last. He said, you're not church born to go there because they descended that in and the other. Listen to me. Stay right there and wait on God's instruction. He's going to tell you when to move. Wait. Hmm. I stay on the Lord. Do not try to act. Do not try to do nothing. We are not masters of ourselves. We are children of light. And the light is Jesus Christ. Just sit there, ask him to guide you and protect you. Give you the faith to stand. All of us who are not doing, who are not doing what God said, please fix your business. Anything you have lurking under the mattress, clean it out. Anybody that you have wrought with, make peace. Oh God, if you want to just call it to see how you're doing under the circumstances, I pray God bless you. Oh, give it to and mean it, say just because now your hand in the fire, I want to put it out. Don't do that because God is the reader of your heart and the searcher of your mind. He you say, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man coming to the Father, but by thee. I am Jesus. Whom thou... <laughs> Listen to me. I am Jesus. We're prosecuting Jesus. we the children of God. We're doing it. We, we, we put the nail in the hand over and over when we do not abide. When we do not do the will, man want to do what they want, when they want and as they like. So this morning, family in Christ, open your hymn book if you're home to the, the hymn they call the hymn 261, Out of the Deep, I call. Out of the deep, I call to thee, oh Lord, to thee. Before thy throne of grace I fall 
morning but we pray people father yes. lord i need to see her coming jesus i beg you meet me lord more than half the way father you are god and god alone this morning i come in before you jesus father i come in oh we can intervision i come in this morning to tell you missing arrive and what trouble we do sustain Father, oh, what is the care and comfort thine? Hello, God, you leave my heart in pain. Pass by the church's holy lamb. Hello, look at the ministering staff this morning. This morning, oh, thou God of Israel. Yeah, you daughter grown this morning. This morning, oh, yeah. This morning, blessed Jesus. This morning, oh, Spirit, if I not tend this prayer, Lord God, and make this house this own. Father, descend with all your gracious power. Oh, come, come, come this evening, Jesus. Father, Lord, look at us, Holy Lamb. Oh, look at us this morning, Jesus. Father, Lord, those are the many song of my voice. Father, Lord, you know them, you know their heart desire this morning. Father, you know their soul determination. I beg you, Lord, you are the lily of the valley, you are the bright and the morning star. Father, Lord, you are the fairest of 10,000 to our soul. You are the way of God this morning, Lord. You are the God of Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning again, Jesus. That man can truly say that Jesus is our Lord unless he takes the veil away. My God, and breathe that living word. This morning, tender shepherd divine. Look at us, oh God, on this vine this morning, Jesus. Father, Lord, we want to attach ourselves to you, Jesus. Father, Lord, we beg you, oh God, to give us courage and understanding. We beg you, oh God, help us not to compromise this morning. Tell us, Lord, we cannot bargain with you this morning. Tell us, oh, you are the God of yesterday, today, and forever. This morning, this morning, oh, this morning, this morning, Jesus. Father, oh, my belly yearn, oh God, this morning. Father, Lord, my stomach. Oh my God, pain rock me mortal body. Father Lord, I need you to spoon the bed and give me rest. Father Lord, I need you, Lord, to fix things to suit you this morning, Lord. Father, for a charge to keep we have, my God and a God to glorify. Father Lord, and every dying soul to save. One day, Lord, when we be fitted for the sky, you are God and God alone. 
My God, you can create and you can destroy. You can make every crooked path straight. My God, and every rough road smooth. This morning, the offspring of my body, Jesus. Look at Keisha in distant land. Father, come on, that you bloody doggy, please. Help us to understand the ways of God today. My God and my Redeemer. Take charge this morning, oh God. Hear my prayer, oh God. Attend unto my supplication, Jesus. Father, look, those of us, Lord, that come to worship you this morning, Father. You are acquainted with our needs and you are acquainted with our wants. Remember our home circle, blessed Father. The offsprings of our body this morning, we come to give you thanks for them, Jesus. That they're still in the land that they live in where they could give you praise and they could worship your holy name this morning, Lord. Cover them under your blood, Jesus. Father, leave them not to their own understanding, O oh God, but guide them, O oh God, great Jehovah. For you are pilgrim in the barren land and we are weak, but thou art mighty. This this morning, I call and ask you, God, to answer the call this morning, Father. Don't deal with us as we deserve, but pardon us, oh God. For Father, for we all have sinned and come short of your glory. I know this morning there is no little sin and big sin. Father, Lord God, I know like we like to point our finger at others, but help us to look in a mirror, blessed Jesus, and clean out our closet this morning, blessed Father. This morning, oh God of Israel, Father, remember us as you remember Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, oh God. Remember us, oh God, as you remember Abraham, Jesus. Remember us, oh God, as you remember Ruth. Jesus, Father, speak, oh God, this morning. I know, Lord, remember me, oh Mother, as you remember Moses, Father. Oh God, remember me, oh God, Jesus, as you remember Noah. Father, help me to walk and be not weary. Father, raise my eyes, oh God, this morning. Hide me where sin and Satan cannot find me this morning, Father. Put your right words in my mouth, oh God, that when I open my mouth, I will speak words of wisdom. Man will be educated, oh God, not by my words this morning, oh Lord, but you, Jesus, are going to put your words in my mouth, that I will be able, Lord, to deliver it unto mankind. Father, that they may heal, I heal, I cannot hold out any longer. This morning, fix us to suit you. Oh God. Father, we are your children. You create us on your fashion, your own image and likeness. Father, we went astray, oh God. We all on to Belzebub this morning, Father. But I beg you, oh God, Lord. I know, Lord, that you could do all things because you are the great physician master. You tell me you are God and God alone. This morning, I know, Lord, that you don't need no help. I know, Lord, that you fashion us and you want to fix us to suit you. This morning, take charge, blessed Father. Grant us the spirit to care. Grant us the spirit of caring, Lord, that we are able to care for each other. Bring us down, oh God. Father, bring us down, Jesus. Zacchaeus, this morning, you want us to come down, Jesus. Father, oh God, I'm begging you for mercy, oh God. Father, I'm begging you for mercy this morning, Lord. Let Satan have no dominion over us. But, oh God, purge us with his up and make us clean. Wash up and, and make us whiter than snow. Grant us a perfect walk with you this morning. Grant us a perfect heart, oh God, to serve you. Grant us a heart of love and joy and peace. Grant us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, oh God. Father, help us this morning to walk holy before the throne. This morning, I need you. I need a friend. Father, we need a friend to suit and pity. Lord, we need a friend to care. Oh, dying Emmanuel this morning. Father, oh God, search with her. Father, look at me home. Go through it this morning, Lord. I beg you to sift it, oh God. I beg you to help, help, oh God, to put things in place. This morning, I need thee. I need a friend. Grant us a secure spirit. Grant us a spirit of truth. Oh God, help us to stop lying on you, Jesus. Father, help us to stop lying, saying, God say and God say. This morning, Lord God of Israel. Pass by cinnamon, oh God, touch their tongue. Father, cleanse them from all unrighteousness. Help them, Lord, to stand firm. Father, look at the Ark of the Covenant and its members. Father, those that are here and those that are there. Father, they're all over this morning, Jesus. You know the reason and purpose why they are where they are. But I'm begging you this morning to fix them, to suit you. You tell me, oh God, oh Lord, this morning, you tell me, Lord, for you are the guardian. You tell me to know. I come into your Lord is knock and knocking, Jesus. I beg you, oh God, may I come in? May I come in? This morning, hear me cry this morning. Father, hear me begging you, oh God, 
this morning cover my family God, I'm a spiritual brother in mercy. Father, pass by, blessed Jesus. You know my heart towards them, blessed Lord. Father, the church need the elders, oh God. The church need the elders, oh God, so that they will give us strength and courage. Father, and elders with a strong motivation to serve you. And elders, Lord, with a heart of love. Elders with a heart of understanding. Because you said the, the, the older women will teach the younger this morning. Father, I need you this morning. I need you, oh God, to help me, oh God, to call you, have a conversation with you this morning. Father, this morning I need you, oh God. I'm going to pass by the hospital, Jesus. I'm going to pass by the hospital, oh God. Father, the nurses in mercy, oh Father, the doctors, or oh, the assistant, Lord. Father, the cleaners, oh God. Father, all those that are working in these dangerous places. Father, oh God, remember all the patients that are lying on the bed. Remember all those that send food for each other, blessed master. Father, oh God, take charge, blessed master. Oh God, God of Israel, look at America land in mercy. Father, man going down the road like on thinking has to battle. But I beg you, oh God, not Satan to his natural den. Father, for you are God and God alone. I know, Lord, you would not let the devil, Lord, save us too much, oh God. Father, intervene in our lives as God be so pleased. Father, touch us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. And I beg you, oh God, sanctify and bless. Sanctify and bless those are sick and ready to heal their wound, oh God. Those are sick in spirit. Those are sick in heart. This morning, I beg you, oh God, smooth the bed and give them rest. Father, Lord, I know there is a way cement right unto God. But it's destruction, destruction, blessed Jesus. Father, oh God, help us to make the right decisions, blessed Father. Oh God, we are not making right decisions, oh God. Father, we make decisions for the flesh. This morning, oh God, pass by. Help us to make sweet decisions that we can have communication with you. Help us to make decisions, Lord, that we will have communication with you. Oh God, family in Christ this morning, look at the state of our, our lives. No matter what we have, it is no use at this time. Oh God, we need God. I hope, oh God, that you're going to take stock of your life and you're going to put Jesus first, that we will take him off from on the back burner and we will put him on the front burner for he is our father. He's our shepherd, husband, friend. He's our prophet, priest, and king. He promised that he will never leave us comfortless. Oh God, at this time, Jesus, Father, take charge upon me. Bow down thine ear, O oh Lord, and hear me. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O oh, thou my God, save thy servant that trusted in thee. Be merciful unto us, O oh God, this morning. O oh God, this morning. For I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant. For unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul this morning, Father. For thou art, Lord, art good, ready to forgive, plenteous and mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give air, O oh Lord, to, unto my, my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplication this morning. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods, Lord, there are none like unto thee. O oh Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy work. All nations whom thou hast made shall, call, shall come and worship before thee, O oh Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For great, for thou art great and does that wondrous thing, thou art God alone. Father, you are God alone all by yourself. Father, Lord, I want to touch you. I want to have sweet communion with you, God. Father, I want to speak to your friend to friend. I want to ask you, God, how do I go about from here, Lord? What would you have me to do at this time, and our Jesus? How would you have me to run the Ark of the Covenant? Which direction would you want me to take this morning? Father, oh God, put your right words in my mouth, that when I speak, I may touch the hearts and they may heal. This morning, oh God, take charge, oh God. Father, the road is rough before me, blessed Jesus. But my desire is to serve you till you bless me waiting soon. But Lord, those in Trinidad, Master, Father, oh God, watch over them. Those in America land, watch over them. Those in Canada land, watch over them. Father, those in England, watch over them. Father, oh God, take charge this morning. Father, those in Venezuela, oh God, take charge. Father, I didn't forget them, blessed Jesus. But I beg you, oh God, to have mercy. 
I thank you for the call they calling me this morning. Father, oh God, I thank you for them this morning. I thank you for renewing the covenant with them, Jesus. Oh God, bless them if thou be so pleased. Father, they remnant and shelter. Father, they bread basket and the water pitcher. This morning, oh God, shelter them under your own almighty wings. Send mercy to so they can burn. Father, keep them away from this virus, blessed Lord. But oh God, mark and put your bloodstained banner upon the walls, blessed Jesus. Oh God, and put your guiding angels with the flaming sword to stand up at the door. This morning, Jesus, Father, come, sweet spirit, come. Remember my spiritual grandchildren, Jesus, wherever they be at this time. Oh God, those in Jamaica land this morning. Father, oh God, take charge. As we said, Jesus, Father, I'm thanking you, oh God. Father, oh God, take charge, we said, Jesus. Father, Lord, you are you alone, oh God, this morning. Oh God, children, that land in mercy. This morning, I, I will trust thee, and I will walk and talk with thee, and I will do thy will. Father, I'm begging you for strength and mercy. Oh God, help me to put in my cause with them that strike against me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of thy shield and buckler, and stand up for your help. This morning, I thank you, oh God. And I pray, oh God, that you watch over us, oh God, and you keep us in the bond of peace. Lamb of God, that take it away, the sins of the world have mercy. Lamb of God, that take it away, the sins of the world graciously hear us. Oh God, Master, Lord, at this time and ever, have mercy. This I ask in other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Father, oh God, cover them. Cover these children again, Lord. Father, all those who they are about to come in contact with for this day, for all those they are about to come in contact with, I beg you, God, fix it, Jesus. Those that have the virus, Jesus, and don't know, oh God, help them to cover up this morning. Father, protect these members, oh God. Father, right now, oh God, look at us on this line this morning. 12 of us this morning, Jesus. Father, 12 of us this morning. 12 of us, blessed Jesus. Father, oh God, 12 of us this morning. Take charge of God. Take charge. Remember us, oh God, as you remember the bleeding wounds this morning. Remember us as you remember the church's blessed Father. Oh God, grant us peace. Grant us love. Grant us unity. Father, we wait for an answer from you this morning. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? And what direction you want us to start in? Jesus, oh God, be our guardian and our guide. And hear us when we call. 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 My light and my salvation, who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat, they stumbled and fell. No one should come against my heart shall fear. No war should rise up against me. This would I be confident. One thing have I desire of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide us. He shall set her up upon a rock, and none shall my head be lifted above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I, therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yeah, I'll sing praises unto the Lord. Yeah, O oh Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou said, seek my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger, thou hast been my help. Leave me, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy Lord and lead us in thy plain path because of thy enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. For false witness has risen up against us and such a degree of cruelty. I have fainted unless I believe the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and without strength in thy heart. Wait and see the Lord. Family in Christ, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Do not take matters into your own hand. You don't be no judge and jury because we too are going to be judged by God for the things that we do. So wait on the Lord. Put everything in his hand and let him, he know when time to open the gate. He know when time to close the gate because he's God all by himself. We are not gods. Bishop? Giving God glory, praise, honor once more. Uh, I don't know where you're at right now, but uh, where I'm at, you know, the sun is shining bright. Uh, reiterating uh, to us 
that, that God is still alive. The glory, the Shekinah glory, as we speak of, is, is everlasting and it's among us. Uh, and the Bible tells us, uh, as sure as the sun shines, you know, we know that the presence of God is there because he holds everything together in his hands and according to his will. Uh, we want to glorify the Almighty God as our lesson today uh, will be taken from Acts, the ninth chapter, from the third verse. Acts, the ninth chapter, from the third verse. You begin at the reading of the Word of God taken from Acts, the ninth chapter. From the third verse. And as he, as he journeyed, he came to Damascus, and suddenly there shone around about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? And he said, Whom art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecuted. It is it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he trembled and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Amen. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go in, in the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. And the man which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. And Saul arose from the earth, and when his eyes were open, he saw a man, but they let, he said he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was three days without sight, and neither did eat nor drink. And there was a certain disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias. And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judah for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayed, and had seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hands on him, that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he has done to thy servants in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. The rest of the 16th verse, in no other name but in Jesus, almighty yeah. name. Glory yeah. be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy yeah. Spirit, yeah. as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Uh, we want to glorify the Almighty God for many of us are, are, are in a situation similar unto Saul because the Bible has taught us that Saul was a, a, a Pharisee. He says, it says Saul of, of Tarsus, a Pharisee in Jerusalem, after the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, swore to wipe out the new Christian church call the way. Acts 1 says that Paul was, was, was breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciple. Saul obtaining a letter from the high priest authorizing him to arrest any followers of Jesus Christ in the city of Damascus. The Bible tells us in, in these verses, it says, well, on the way to Damascus, Saul and his companies were struck down by a blinding light, Saul heard a voice declaring, Saul, Saul, why do you pers thou persecute thou me? Uh, uh, the Bible, um, Saul immediately answered. He says, uh, when Saul had heard what was said, the, the voice replied, I am Jesus 
whom thou persecuted. You know, um, today, you know, we glorify the Almighty God. Because many a time, Saul was a, a man of God. You know, he was one who studied uh, the laws of God. And in his sight, uh, uh, the teaching, according to the Judaism, was uh, uh, the, the right way, the only way. And there is no other way, because the Bible has taught us there is but one way and one way to serve God. The Lord, our God, he is one. So it's not many gods we are serving, but we are serving one God over all and in all. And the Bible has declared, you know, that Saul was, I believe, under the tutelage of, uh, I believe, uh, a gentleman called Gamamel, uh, uh, whereby, you know, even when he heard of the, the teaching of, of Christ, you know, he went to his, his, his advisor or his teacher and asked him, inquiring of this, this sect, this sect, Jesus sect that is coming about. And he turned to him and he told Saul, he said, if this is the true or, or, or a spiritual uh, and, and faithful teaching, it will last. And we know too well that the gospel of Jesus Christ has been, it's been in existence for a long period of time, not as many other doctrines that have come and have faded away. It is only by the proof and by the example and, and, and by the working of the gifts and proving that which is acceptable gift, gift of God, we will know what is right and from what is wrong, or what is fake from what is false. The Bible tells us, you know, when, when Saul, uh, um, when, when mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. had declared, he said, I, Jesus, whom thou persecuted, it is hard for thee to kick against the prick. You know, it, it said, you know, Saul trembled with astonishment. You know, and he, and he said, he said, Lord, and he arise, the Bible tells us, and he turned, and, and it tells us what? He said, arise and go into the city, and it shall be told to thee what thou must do. So when he was, when he was taught, thrown down, his first question was, you know, he said, what? Who art thou? He said, what would thou have me to do? And it says, well, you know, he told them to go into the city, and it will be told of thee. There are things that, uh, missions or, or directive that we are uh, on, or God has given us to, um, to, to accomplish, and we have faulted by the way. Why? Because we have not been obedient. We have not been willing to, to follow through. Although we have been fallen, we have fallen from our horse, and we have fallen from, from grace, sometimes we have to arise. You know, this is what the, the, the sixth verse told um, the Lord told Saul, he said, arise. Sometimes when we fall, you know, we stay down. We turn to God and we say, woe is me. And we're waiting for somebody to pick us up. But the Bible tells us we must be lifted up by our own bootstrap. We cannot wait for somebody, you know, to do the work for us. It comes like the man that was sitting at the pool of Shiloh, waiting to get, get in. And, you know, he got so despondent because he got so dismayed. He told Christ, you know, that every time, you know, the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water, somebody stepped in before him. But in, uh, although, you know, these things are happening, we have to push up the evening to the bitter end. Even though our turn has not come, sometimes, you know, we're seeing others being blessed. And we say, well, woe is me. You know, God has turned his back on me. But the Bible tells us persistence is the key. Saul did as God, the, the Spirit of God commanded him, or Jesus commanded him. He said, arise and go into the city, and it shall be told of thee. Many a time we don't want to be told. Many a time we want to, to interpret things for ourselves. But the Bible tells us the obedience is heaven's first law. The Bible tells us, you know, and the men that journeyed with him heard a voice, but they see no man. And Saul arose uh, from the earth, and, and he said, you know, when, uh, and when his eyes were, 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 whew, were open, he saw no man, but he was led by the hand, and he was brought into Damascus, you know, into Damascus, into the very said city that he was going to destroy. I, I want to tell you that God changes things. God converts the ungodly to the godly. He changes the righteous from the unrighteous. I remember the teeth that were on the cross. I remember there was a certain one of them on the left. He said, he turned, said you know, you're saving others. Save yourself and save us too. The gentleman on the right says, leave him alone. We are guilty of our sins. We are, we, you know, the, 
judgment has been cast righteously upon us because we have done wrong and we are deserving of our punishment. But Lord, when thou enter into thy paradise, remember me. Oh Lord, remember me. Not don't remember my faults, but remember, oh Lord, my, 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 my turning, my, my rededicating towards thee, my humbleness, my my, woo, my righteousness. Lord, anoint me for thy purpose's sake, that when thou get return into paradise, you may enter within. But I remember Jesus turned to say, and said unto him, Today, today thou shalt be within paradise, not tomorrow. We can enter into the presence of the, God, of the Lord this very set hour. Once we have indicted our hearts towards a good matter, the, ele the eleven verse tells us, it tells us, and the Lord said unto him, Arise and go. No, well, the 10th verse, you know, it tells us, you know, that the vision of God came to, to Ananias, who is, you know, a disciple in Damascus. The, time, you know, the, the, time, him, you know, the, the vision came, and Ananias said unto him, he said, the, the vision of the Almighty God, the Lord said, Ananias, and immediately Ananias responded and said, Behold, I am here, Lord. I remember Saul. When he, he he was called by God, he thought it was he thought it was um the man of God calling him. And when Saul when when Samuel sorry Samuel came to Eli and he said, Has thou called me? He came twice and Eli said, When you hear the voice once more, ask of the Lord what the, will thou have me to do? Speak, Lord, thy servant hear it. Sometimes we are hearing the word of God speaking to us, but we are not responding in humility. We are not asking God what will he have us to do. We are not, not asking God which direction he wants us to go within. But we must ask of God who is the directive and the director of our life. Remember, he has the blueprint. He is the master builder. He is he has made us and not we of ourselves. You know, and, and so turn. And the Lord said unto him in the 11th verse, He said, Arise and go into the city, call straight and inquire in the house of Judah. For there is, a, there is one called Saul of Tarsus. And behold, he prayed. The Lord is speaking to Saul in the 11th verse. But he also spoke to Ananias in the 12th verse. I don't know if you realize it took a transformation from 11 to 12. He spoke to Ananias, speaking to him to go and speak to Saul. And he turned to Saul in the 12th, Ananias in the 12th verse, and he said now, in a vision, he said he came to Ananias and said, a man, he came to Saul. And he said, Ananias is coming in, and he will put his hands upon thee, and, and thou will receive thy sight once more. How many of us, when we receive the vision, we walk in faith? I remembered when there was a certain healing that took place, that Jesus turned and he said, What? Thy, the issue, when the woman with the issue of the blood, he said, Thy faith has made thee whole. It is not by just touching, but we have to have faith. We have to believe in the power of the blood. We have to believe in the power of God. That is able Amen. to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Righteousness. Ooh. The twelve verse tells us, you know that that you know that <laughs> that he might receive a sign. The thirteen verse, and Ananias said, he says, Lord, a paraphrase in this, Lord, you don't understand this man. This man persecuted us the the, the, the saints of God. How could you send me to give this man sight? We need time. We're looking at at the direction that God has given us. But sometimes we want to make our own judgment. We say that person has persecuted me. Lord, you don't understand what kind of torment this sister or brother has, has brought unto me. But now you're asking for me, of me, you know, to have mercy upon them. I remembered Job. Job's friend persecuted him, although he stood fast to the, to the, to the understanding of God and the direction of God. But at the end of this, when all was said and done, God told Job to go and bless the offering that those three of his friends who persecuted him or tried him, that they may receive the grace of God. 
I believe that Job did not do as God has commanded him after putting him through the sawmill. He would not have regained that blessing or that Amen. grace in which God has bestowed upon him. Because Amen. I learned when all was said and done, the things that Job had before was much. But I believe after he went through the trial and was victorious, he received much more abundance, even more than he himself could imagine. Sometimes one thinks for myself, but the things that God has in store for is even much more than what we expect if only we would humble ourselves. The Bible tells us in the 15th verse, the 13th verse, 14th verse, he says, you know, that, you know, this man has authority. But as we learned, uh, um, it, when Jesus came before Pontius Pilate, Pontius Pilate made the same statement to him. Do you know, do you not know that I have authority to take your life? Jesus told to him and said, thou hast no authority unless it has been given to thee from God. Mm -hmm. Today, if we have been chosen from God, rest assured, it is well with your soul. Stay within the arm of safety and do not leave. Do not be tempted to walk out of the realm. I learned that little girl was given a directed to stay within the house. But something called, the devil called her out of the house and brought her to her death. Let us be obedient to the Spirit of God when it speaks to us. That we may not die, that we may live God's people's death, live life and, and die God's people's death. The 15 verse says, You know, he says, Go thy way, for what he is a chosen vessel. God read in the heart. When we're reading, you know, how people get along, God read in the heart. Because the Bible tells us he's a read of heart and search of mind. We don't know what Trump is doing when he, go into, when he goes behind closed doors. For all we know, he's praying upon God. For all we know, he's calling upon the true and living God. This is the reason why we cannot pass judgment upon every, anyone. Judge not let he be judged. But our job is to what make our election sure that when men see us they may glorify the father which is in heaven a vessel of honor who would have thought in those days that so the persecutor of christians would be a that god would call him a vessel of honor not just a vessel but a vessel of honor what to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. But the part I love is the 16th verse. He says, For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, What I will show him. Let us not take the lead. The Lord will direct our footsteps. He will lead us according to the way and the pathway in which we ought to go, lest we stumble and fall. The Bible tells us that the way that seemed right unto, them, unto man, but the end is sudden death and destruction. Although we are serving God, also, although we are reading our Bible, the Bible tells us that if we all read, we all may get a different interpretation of what God is saying. But if we think ourselves, and get within the spiritual realm, we know that God is no confusion, out of confusion. We know God will show us the way. He's not going to show us a way, but he's going to show us the way, the truth, and the light. One way. One truth, one God, one salvation, one baptism. And this is what we are working towards that we may make our election sure. Let us make that transformation as we are on our, our, on our own road to Damascus. God took Saul to a phase. He showed, he showed
shut his eyes for three days. Many of us who know things concerning mourning, when you go and mourn, there's the first three days you're going to the grave. Before you come out of the grave and you'll be transformed. Out of death, come in life. It is only when we die we will live. The Bible tells us, Jesus said, those who die for me, they shall gain their life. But those who die apart from me, they shall lose it. Today, let us examine ourselves. Let us realize sometimes we find ourselves on that road to Damascus. Let us ask of God, what will he have us to do? Let us not take the lead. The question was asked. Where do we go from here? The Bible tells us that when Saul went through his transformation and Ananias gave, brought, gave his sight back to the, to the will of God, he was no longer the same. His name was changed. He was transformed, what? By the renewing of his mind. And he was no longer entangled in the yoke of bondage. Today, let us find our our ground let us find uh, uh, as let us let us find what our equilibrium our balance whereby you know god will will, will bless us and we will be found you know in a place where we have no other choice but to receive the grace from god which is allotted to each and every one of us today i glorify the almighty god Today, I pray, God, that we do not harden our hearts. As in the day of the propagation, when the day in, when those of Israelites turn from God and seeking after idols. But I pray, God, that we put our trust not in chariots, not in horses, but we trust in the true and living God who is able to change things according to the preparation of our hearts and mind. Probably today I glorify the Almighty God and I pray Him as we're about to close off for this week. I pray God we we kind of regurgitate the lessons which were brought and use them as a stepping stone that we may be able to climb that ladder that Jacob saw, that we may gain a higher understanding of what God wants of us. This I ask. In no other name, but in Jesus, Almighty oh, name. Oh, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Great things He have done. To God be the glory. Great things He have done. Try not to get vexed too much, because we we have to understand, brethren, that the devil coming to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil is coming to see who he can conquer. Do not find yourself caught up in the web. Do not find yourself caught up in the web. From the time they come, they start to open up. They are a devil. Be still and know that I am God. Stay and wait on the Lord for his direction and the Lord will keep you safe. May God bless you all. May he cause his face to shine upon you all and grant you all peace. Have